All right, guys, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. And it's plainly obvious that there's something wrong with this claw. But what is not always obvious is where these problems start. In this case, it's probably right here, but we won't know until we get started. So let's do just that. Step number one, we're gonna give this claw a quick trim up. Why not trim up both claws right now? because it could affect the way that I treat this foot later on. I'll explain when we get there. See that dark mark right in the middle? That's where I believe this problem started and worked its way out the top. But we won't know until we do some knife work. I pull the grinder back out here just to thin that horn out just a little bit so my knife work becomes easier. You don't want to be too aggressive with the grinder though because there's only so much of that hard outer layer. As you can see here, I've worked my way almost all the way through. Now I'll get out the knife and connect this entire area. So clearly, there's an area of separation. But did that area of separation begin with that dark mark that I showed earlier? Only time will tell. In order to confirm my suspicion, I need to come across some disturbed corium. I haven't done that yet, which means this problem is further down, so we need to keep going. Once again, I'm using the grinder here to thin out that wall horn. It makes my knife work a lot easier when I'm working tight to the corium, as I'm going to do here soon. Those boots you see coming in and out of the frame are those of the farmer just watching me work on his cow. The source of the problem is right under there, so I have to work especially carefully right here. Now that that area is clear, we have to work on the separation up above. That original problem down below caused the separation of horn all the way to the top here. So we have to connect those two areas so we don't get debris packed up underneath that and cause further problems. Now we can go back and finish trimming that other claw and prep it for a block. Now the reason I didn't do that to start the trim is I didn't want to have to re-prep this claw later on to apply that block. And I didn't want to put that block on early because it could affect the way that I'm trimming on this other claw, so I didn't want to do that. I wait until my, the majority of my trimming is done, that way I can get that, uh, keep that claw nice and clean 
have a good place for that adhesive to stick, and I don't have to re-prep that claw later on in the trim. Here you can see exactly where that problem originated and what caused that separation that we saw up at the top at the beginning of this video. The last step in this trim is to apply a salicylic acid wrap. That's going to prevent the bacteria from complicating the healing of this particular lesion. The only thing left to do now is let her out and let her test drive her new kicks. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.